Tara. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're going, it looks like we're streaming live. Fantastic. Yay. Hello, hello. I'm just checking up on our group here. I'm going to pull up the, All right. the live stream. So <laughs> if there are any commenters out there, I'll be able to address their comments. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to just mute myself for a second here. Yeah, this is fun because Latar and I have done some summits together and other things, but I don't think we've ever gone live together. <laughs> so this is, this is going to be fun. And we've got a great topic to share today. There we go. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to be talking about today is drum roll <laughs> seven methods to effectively market yourself online including social media so i think is just so relevant today yes. right is oh my gosh yes there is more people jumping online than ever before in history <laughs> um so you want to be on you want to be online, which brings us to our first yeah. method. You want to have a website. You um, want to have that credibility and that legitimacy when you're when when people are searching for you online. And I, I recently heard a statistic that eighty percent of consumers research a company online before making a buying decision. So that's why you definitely need to have a website out there uh, yeah. that kind of explains who you are, what you do, what services you provide. Uh, you want it to have social proof, um, yeah. case studies. And, uh, you know, if you don't have the website up, people are going to think you're out of business. That's, <laughs> that's the <Yeah>. main, <laughs> you know, drawback of not having a website, right? It's really becoming that verification method of, if I can't find you, you must not really exist. You're just, you know, fly by night kind of business owner. Um, I actually had that work to, having a website work to my advantage last week when somebody introduced me to a prospect. And when I heard back from the prospect, the first thing they said is, I jumped on your website, so I understand what you do. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk. So that was that great validation of, you do these things and let's talk about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, one of the things that you can do to maximize the benefits of a website is uh, our second method, which is having a blog. Um, it You create content for your website. You draw people in through stories. Um, it's also really good for SEO purposes and you can attract traffic to your website through the use of blogs. Um, yes. Did you have anything else to say about that? Oh, blog? I was going to say, I was going to say absolutely because this is a great place to help people see who you are as well, right? Because as you write, they're starting to get to know you as a person. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You're not just this <laughs> one dimensional company front you're there's a person behind the business so um that's that's also uh, more relevant now than ever <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh so our next one is sales funnels and this is there's a distinction between your website and your sales funnel because your website is where somebody either stumbles upon you through seo which is awesome but you don't you can't rely on that only uh most of the time, people that are looking at your website have already stumbled across you and they're trying to find out more information about you or your company. Sales funnels, on the other hand, are a method to draw people in to a funnel towards a sale um, or a conversion of some sort if it's not a sale. Sometimes maybe a sales funnel is just set up to capture a lead. Um, 
but normally, ideally, a sales funnel would have one call to action on a landing page uh, to capture somebody's contact information. And then, you know, you, you can have a, a series, a sequence of events that happen after that point. But the main difference between a website and a sales funnel is the sales funnel has that one call to action and you're and you're leading somebody into a sequence of events whereas a website it kind of is just like this information display page <laughs> where people can just get lost in the sauce <laughs> yes lots of stuff going on and i like what you said about the sales funnel because it breaks something it could be a multiple step process into one step at a time exactly exactly yeah one of my favorite quotes is that whole confused mind doesn't take action right because they get if there's too many options they don't know what to do and this exactly. really leads, them, leads them through that path. Right, right, exactly. Yes. Um, and that's that's the main uh, vision behind a sales funnel is it doesn't matter whether you're trying to sell a book or uh, sell a product or basically just give away something for free, uh, which is called a lead magnet. And uh, that kind of leads us into uh, the fourth method, which is lead generation. Um, lead magnets are awesome uh, for lead generation. It's basically providing free content in exchange for somebody's contact information through the sales funnel uh, so that you can basically dialogue with that person and, and eventually they're, they're probably going to do business with you, right? There's <laughs> it's more likely that they're going to do business with you if, if, you, if they flow through that system as opposed to just... Uh, here, buy this. <laughs> right, right. You start right. to build some of that relationship up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the the you you pull people into your world, and then you converse with them. You create a relationship with them, and eventually, they're they're going to either do business with you, or maybe they'll just sit there on your email list forever and <laughs> consume your content because you're. You're going to be this wellspring of of information, information, and, and sharing and your that, stories. <laughs> and sometime down the road, they'll reach back out because you've been such a wellspring of information, right? Right, right, right. And because not everybody is wanting to buy what you're selling at that moment in time. Right. Exactly. Um, I think I heard the statistic that there's only about three percent <laughs> of the people are are actively buying. So yes. what you want to do is you want to keep them in your sphere long enough so that when they do get to the point where they're ready to buy, you're the per first person they come to because you've, you've created an authority on, on that particular topic. Yeah, that, that, you know, that authority piece is important as well, which kind of ripples back up a little bit as well to things that are on your website, helps build authority keeping in touch with people and sharing relevant content helps build authority. All these things are kind of building. Exactly, exactly. And, and one of the ways that you can generate leads is through social media. And uh, what you want to do is you want to create social media content because if you're, if somebody comes to your Facebook profile and there's nothing going on, they're just being like, is this person even around? Like their last post was seven years ago. I, I There's nothing here to interact with. So social media content is kind of creating the, the opening line in a, in a dialogue that you want to have with people and creating beautiful, awesome, attractive content is a great way to attract views, to draw people in, to um, create a strong social media presence. Uh, hence influencers are a big thing. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> you know, because they see the relevance of, of social media as a whole and they see, and they've mastered the art of social media content. Absolutely. So uh, let's see. So next on the list is email marketing. This is huge. This is like the, you know, this is the, the crux of, of where we want to get to. The whole point of the social media content and, and the sales funnels and the website is to get people into your database. 
email marketing is one of the most effective methods to market yourself because you're not you're not just um you're not just it's not just a transaction you're you're creating a, re a relationship once you get them in your database you can create a long-term relationship i have i've been on some people's email lists and they've been sending me stuff for years and i don't want to delete you know, I don't want to get rid of them because, you know, they're sending me valuable stuff. So every once in a while, I'm be like, oh, my gosh, that's exactly what I need right now. And I'll click on it and I'll I'll go to their website and and boom, there you go. There's a sale. So. Um, one of the most effective ways to do email marketing is through the use of a CRM. Would you like to yes. explain a little bit more about what a CRM is? Absolutely. CRM, Contact Relationship Management System. So you are collecting all these names and content information through all the methods that we've been talking about. You need a place to keep track of them. Have them in one place. You can find them. You can search on them. This also gives you the ability to say, I sent them this information. They got this email campaign, right? We sent them the email campaign about the event coming up next month. You can look their name up and see that they was sent to them and anything else you've been sending them. Uh, helps you segregate what you're sending to who based on their interests and what they're, why they joined your list. I love the fact you can put all those people in one place, but then send a particular email campaign to this group of people that happen to live in Utah or these people who did go to an event last year. Let's remarket them to, for the event this year. Yeah, wow, that's that's actually <laughs> that's very insightful. So if you have if you have a local thing going on, you only want to talk to the people that are local and saying, yep. "Hey, you should come to my party or whatever." <laughs> Physical event is going to have a certain span <laughs> that that you know, if if you're trying to do an international campaign, it's going to be a completely different game. So it's it's definitely good to segregate your lists and a, a CRM is 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 a godsend because <laughs> trying to do all that on your own without some sort of system in place is is immensely time consuming and you're probably going to go crazy <laughs> yes and you'll start having stuff fall through the cracks yes yes because you miss somebody because you're doing on a manual list and they got on page three yeah exactly so it's a great it's a great time to start um well anytime is a great time to start if you're not doing it but especially at, before you're huge um, you start as you grow and then you've got to recapture in the same place. Don't have to re restart. Right. Right. And it's, it's I, ideally you would want to make sure that your sales funnel is connected to your CRM so that if somebody comes into your, your sales funnel and you capture their lead, you want to be able to send them like you want to automate uh, a follow-up sequence with them. Yes, so absolutely. They, they don't just like, okay, I signed up, now what? <laughs> exactly. There's nothing worse than signing up for something or, re or replying to something and they're like, wow, how long has it taken these people to get back to me? Radio silence. Yeah. yeah. So that's a definite, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a game changer right there. Does nothing for building that credibility, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and you also want to just create and develop a relationship with these people. So that's why yeah. you want, so it, it's, it's interesting. Like, I feel like the overarching theme between all of these things is you're finding a, finding somebody and then you're creating a dialogue with that person. Yes. You're, you're developing a relationship with this person through all of these sequences. And that's a really good way to look at marketing. It's, it's, it's a conversation. It's a digital conversation is what we're doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And for that matter, it's it's a really good idea to integrate all of these systems into one thing so that it's seamless. Yes, it's seamless. It looks the same, which I guess is another way of saying seamless. But I mean, yeah, so the process runs. You don't have to be there pushing buttons every time a step has to be taken. Right. Everything looks like it's coming from the same place because mm -hmm. you've got it branded. 
and it's easy to it's easy to to spread that around when you get everything happening in the same place. Yeah, and it's a smooth process for for you and the the, the receiver. <laughs> yes, that gets us back to our confused minds. Don't take action. <laughs> right. Too, too much right. going on that doesn't work. Right. Right. And um, another another reason why that's um, effective is if you're integrating all these different methods into one coherent system you can repurpose your content across multiple platforms you can you can use the same content in blogs and on multiple social media platforms and emailing to your database yeah uh, so what would be what would be the point of repurposing all of these things well is to get your best use out of the one thing you did right is that that gets us back to that efficiency. If it, yeah, yeah. And it also helps make sure you're covering people no matter how they're connected to you. Mm -hmm. So if you only posted it on Facebook and they're not connected to you on Facebook, they would never see it. If you only post on LinkedIn and they're not on LinkedIn, they won't see it. If they only read email because they don't like social media, you'd miss them if you only put on social media. So I think that's a uh, it's a way to be efficient, but also to make sure you're not missing anybody. Right. Right. Yeah. No, that's a really good, that's a really good way to look at it because it's just like um you're omnipresent. <laughs> there we go. That's right. You're building your omnipresence. Yes, yes. You're definitely building your omnipresence. <laughs> and if you're repurposing all your content, you can save a lot of time. <laughs> you can be spending your time on income producing activities or you know spend more time with your family um instead of trying to sit there and you know <laughs> manually yes. email people every time they they respond and <laughs> trying to come up with different content for every every social media platform it's just like boom like exactly. how awesome would it be to just go boom 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 like three clicks you're done you, you go you posted that everywhere you you did your blog you did your emails <laughs> all in one go that's the the beauty of automation and integration exactly fast effective marketing that's what that's what we're our aim is because otherwise we're going to be spending 24 hours a day <laughs> trying to do all of these methods that we talked about <laughs> and probably not uh getting as much out of it as you could for sure yeah spent yeah. more time got less return that doesn't usually make sense yeah, streamlining your systems is is up there on on the <laughs> effective marketing <laughs> quotient. Um, yeah. So let's yeah. So so tell me tell me what what your um, what is your favorite uh, way to integrate all of these things into one. Well, of course, that's to use one tool that does all those things. Is there such a thing? I think there is such a thing. <laughs> yes, actually. Um, there is a great tool uh, that called NowSite that does all these things uh, together. It helps you take that content and post it several different places, roll it into your blog, roll it into an email campaign that goes out, boom, boom, boom. It uh, allows you to capture all those people that came in through your sales funnel. Actually, it allows you to build the sales funnel, mm -hmm. uh, which then drives all that content information into your CRM, which again is how we what we use to send out that email. It provides the opportunity to build landing pages. So you can also just have like one-time pages that announce something or an event or something like that in addition to being within that sales funnel. That's that's pretty epic. I um, think I think so. I think so too. That's like a game changer. This is going to totally <laughs> change your view on <laughs> online marketing and social media marketing because there I know so many people that are just like they don't even know what to do. They just exactly. get into like um, analysis paralysis. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like how do I figure out how to do this and that and this and that? And 
um, it kind of is that same answer to not having um, to not having too many decisions to make because it right, it helps right. walk you through the process as opposed to wow what am I supposed to do now and how do I do that and where do I go to post that and how do I put it over here on Facebook too it helps walk through that um, so it takes that confusion away or that frustration of I don't know where to start or what to do yeah um, and right now uh, is the best time. <laughs> ever to jump into this particular system because they have some amazing things going on. Um, yes, for do. one, uh, you can get uh, a sign up today. And I do mean this, this is, this is going away really quick. This is only for a limited time. You can sign up today for only, drum roll, <laughs> $99 a month. That's it. What? That's it. But you get for, for this month only, you also get uh your own VA. They're going to include your own VA to reach out to 500 people on LinkedIn every single month. Amazing. <laughs> that alone seems like the price of admission, <laughs> the cost of admission right there. Just there's right. so much value in just that one thing. Because how much time are you going to save <laughs> if you don't have to be reaching out to these people yourself? Plus, you also have access to a team of specialists to create your social media content, create your blog or your email campaign every month. Not just one time, every month. <laughs> so I'm going to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> and here's the link. I just dropped the link in the chat. Somebody was asked, what's the system called? Wendy, here you go. It's called Mousesite. And you could get that deal right there at that link I put in the chat. Um, yep. So yeah, the, this is these are not all always included in this. Uh, right. This is a, a very special package going on for the month of November. If that, if that, I mean, I, just to <laughs> read it, you started, if that's going to go away or not, but right. I was like, just to read it where you started, it says for a limited time, a so limited time. Yep. Don't assume it's going to last all month. Um, in fact, typically they don't. Mm. I think especially because they're including the VA piece in there right now. Um, and as Latara talked about, that is such a time saving. Think about if you had to hire your own VA, what would you be paying for that alone? Right. Um, and because they are part of the system, they're already trained in how to use the system, right? So you have to train them on how to do this process because uh, they're part of the company. So that's why it works that way. Right, right. Yeah. And um, just the, the fact that you have somebody there to create these things for you, because I know yes. that not everybody's as tech savvy as I am, <laughs> but, but some people, they just want to say, hey, can you do this for me? And there you go. You got somebody yeah. there to work on those things for you and create your email campaign. So you're not sitting there trying to figure out what to write. So leadgen.world is the website to go to right now. And hopefully <laughs> you see the value in, in having all of these things integrated into one system. Any closing thoughts, Alice? Well, I, I mean, I just think it's great because in addition, you can do stuff yourself if you want or as you learn. So you don't have to wait for somebody to do it. If you say, hey, I want to try doing this, you can go in the system and do it um, as well. So it's kind of that one-stop shopping for each, each method. Somebody does it for you all the time, or you can play a little bit and learn and do some things as well. Right, right. And the system is super user-friendly in my opinion. Yeah. So if you don't want to hire them to do that for you, even though it's included, you can always just jump into the system and play around with it. And they have templates yeah. uh, for the websites. So you can actually develop a full-fledged website off of the system as well. So, <laughs> And this was fun, like I thought it might be it was, for us to go yes. live. Yeah. Yes. This was a lot of fun. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Alice, for joining me today. I hope you take advantage of this all in one system while you can. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you for watching.